Now we have a running Azure Virtual Machine Windows Server 2019 and we need to configure Active Directory. We need to set up it as an Active Directory. In this video, we are going to see how to configure a Windows Server as an Active Directory and it's a two-step process. First step is to install the Active Directory domain service feature. So a Windows Server provides you a lot of features like Active Directory domain service, Active Directory certificate service or web service like that. So here we are going to use this as an Active Directory. So we will install Active Directory domain service feature. After you install this feature, the second step is to configure the Active Directory to use it as a domain controller. And the process is known as promoting a Active Directory server as a domain controller. While promoting the Windows Server as a domain controller, it's a wizard-based configuration. We will provide domain name, password to reset the Active Directory, database location, global catalog, DNS. These are all explained already well enough. So I hope we can easily set up our first domain controller without much explanation. So I have logged into Microsoft Azure portal. The next step is to click on the virtual machines and find out the new virtual machine that I have created. At this moment, I have only one VM, so it is quite easy to find out. Click on the virtual machines, then DC1, the virtual machine that we created. Then from the settings, you will see connect. And inside the connect, there are different options to connect. Let us go with RDP that is one of the most familiar connection method so you will see an rdp icon uh, has downloaded you can click there and uh, it will be prompted to enter your administrator credentials to connect your uh, with azure vm so this is the same one that we provided when we create our uh, azure vm now you can see it has successfully logged in and I'm able to see my Azure VM that I prepared for the domain controller. Now the server manager automatically opened here. If you want to open this, you can open from the start menu also. Click on the local server that will give you some of the details of this machine. It is a DC1 and workgroup. Then if you click on the Ethernet 2, that will show you the network card and you can see the IP address. So this is what we saw in the portal also. So our aim is to install Active Directory domain services. For that, click on the add roles and features. Then click next. Then installation type. It is a role based or feature based installation. Then select the machine. We have only one machine here so nothing to worry just select and click next now we need to select active directory domain services then click next you will see features so we have nothing to do with the features in active directory domain controller installation because all the features which required for ad is already selected then here you can read that the uh, Active Directory, Azure Active Directory is uh, provide uh, the similar service and which simplify the identity and access management. Uh, we can go with this in another project. Now let's click next and focus on the on-premises Active Directory solution. So click next, then click next, then click on the install button. That will start the installation. So you can see the installation progress. First, it installed the features and uh, once it complete the installation, you get a yellow icon on the right top of the tab near to the manage. And that means the installation of Active Directory domain services has completed and it is time to start the second step that is promote this server as a domain controller. So now you can see the installation has completed and it is time to close the window. Once you close this, go to the right top of the server manager where you can see a yellow icon. You can see promote this server as a domain controller. So this is our second step. The moment you click on it, it open up a new wizard. 
and you have three options here you can add this to an existing domain or existing forest or a new forest as i told you we are going to create our first one so first domain first forest so let's give a name adams health dot online it is recommended to use the same name same business name that you use uh, in public for example your email address is adams health dot online then use the same this is going to make your life easier instead of having two type of dns you can see if you look at my godaddy you can see i already bought adams health dot online so this is my public address this is how people know about me through email or through website so it is highly recommended to use the same business address in the uh, active directory instead of using adamshealth.local or .com or whatever it is try to keep it as it as your business name now click next so here in the first option we have forest functional level a forest functional level determines the functionalities of a domain controller that are enabled in a forest so if you use higher versions 2016 then it increases the capability of domain controller if you go with the lower version you can select it from the drop down list if you go with the lower version then the functionality will be reduced then we have dns also need to be installed because active directory work closely with dns server then we have global catalog which already explained then directory service restore mode password which we use in case if you want to restore the directory service so this also need to be configured to continue the wizard now let's click on the next button and that will show you it didn't found any local dot online dns uh, authority it is fine this is common let's click next now it automatically show you a netbios name so what is a netbios name netbios name you can use this name slash user instead of logging as user at adamshealth.com so this you can change if you want but it is always recommended to use the same domain name the first part of the domain name except dot online or dot com so it makes things simple now the database folder log file folder six volume folder so this you can uh, change if you want or you can keep it as it is then click next so you can review all your selection here and if you go with the view script you can see the script you can utilize uh, to run in uh, powershell you can simply copy and create a new uh, powershell file and you can run this in windows powershell this is what the powershell uh, so this is one option but i'm using here this wizard based because this is easy to understand things if you are a beginner uh, but if you are very expert and then it is easy also to use the powershell script because as you don't need to like click frequently next 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 to complete you can simply pass this script and uh, complete the installation so all the prerequisites have completed and it you can see that we get a green pass so we can click to install the installation of active directory now the active directory installation has completed and the system will automatically restart or it will prompt you to restart so once you complete the restart again you need to log in so either you use uh, the already downloaded rdp file or you can again download it or you can enter everything manually and uh, try to connect it to your machine but the very important thing that you need to note here before the domain controller was a work group so you can simply enter your username and uh, password and login now it is a domain controller so you have to use user at domain name here the username is adams adm and domain name is adams health dot online so you can use adams adm at adams health dot online or you can use netbios name that is adams health slash adams adm so that's it click ok now we logged into our domain controller so server manager opened up by default now you can see in addition to the local server all servers in the left 
tab we have ADDS that is Active Directory Domain Service then DNS so the management tools for Active Directory and DNS you can access from here by right click and you will see Active Directory Administrator Center Active Directory Users and Computers Domains and Trust so these are the Active Directory tools you can access the other option from the right top tools also you can access Active Directory users and computers and the other administrative center tools. Then we have DNS also. So as I told DNS is a part of domain controller. It works very closely. You can see that we have a new DNS forward lookup zone created adamshealth.online and it have first entry that is dc1 then the ip address is 10.0.0.4 we'll talk about dns in the next video so let us summarize what we have learned in this video we know now how to uh, set up a domain controller in a windows server once you complete the installation of a domain controller to manage an active directory domain controller you have management tools and i'm not going to deep uh, to each management tools in this we will eventually know about these tools because we will be doing many projects related to Active Directory. So by this time you will uh, know about its management tools and when it's used. But DNS, I think it's good to have a basic a ground knowledge about DNS. So in the coming video, I will talk a little bit about DNS and how it's related to Active Directory. So that is all. See you in the next video.